Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. Today, we're talking about the general distribution function. I have here what look to be two identical connectors. However, if I try to change the spacing on this end to say one, they behave differently. This is because the distribution function for the points is different between the two. To check that, I can go to Grid Distribute and click Functions. If I click this top connector, it has a hyperbolic tangent. But this bottom one is a type General. Notice I can't select it. So what is a type General distribution function? General distributions represent discrete point locations stored rather than points being located along a connector by a formula. For example, if I grab this connector and go to Edit Curve, I can see that it is one long segment. However, if I grab this one and look at Edit Curve, I can see that there are multiple segments. So how do connectors like this happen? One way is through projection. After the connector was created, I projected it to a database line. You can see that this connector has no associativity with any database, and this one is projected to a database. Another way type general distributions can happen is by using the solver. If I grab this OH topology and go to grid solve, change the boundaries to floating, I can solve it for 15 iterations, OK. If I grab these connectors, I can go to grid, distribute, function, and see that they are all type general. This is because the solver has moved them to discrete locations to improve the quality of the domain mesh. If I want to change them back to another distribution function, I can just select it here and click OK. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all, and have a pleasant Tuesday.